I can't believe how stupid it was. You will see that there is now one stone. Now there is no stone. I feel like I need to shut this door. That was so stupid. Why would anyone think to do that? Why can I still not use my fucking lantern? God damn it, why did I have Please to- Please tell me a bedtime story, Grandpa. Please. Alright, just one. There was a time, thousands of years ago, the god Deus Bonitatis created a woman and a man. These two persons was of other importance to purify the world from evil. He called them semi -dos. The gift passed on in quite irregular way. The first-born son of the man got the gene, and his other sons had a chance to get it, but it was slim compared. The same with the female. We are of this bloodline. We are the semi -dos. But you, you are really special. You actually have a mother. And the father with this gene, that it is the first time ever. You might be the most powerful of all the semi -dos. I will tell you a little secret about us. We regenerate. We heal our body and our mind. We are not immortal, but we are quite hard to kill. This is really useful when we are hunting for the evil of our world. The users of the dog magic, especially. I don't know if anyone heard that. You hide, but I will find you. And when I do, I will rip your heart out. It seems like Jack was really was in this. I will get you. Just wait. Blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, bro. I think I have to go now. Really. I have to. It's creepy as hell. But I've had the last, and if I'm gonna catch it, I should really just jump in the... Well... I was right at the fucking end! Are you fucking dicking with me?! Well, that's fucking annoying. Not sure what to do about that. Be right back. Alright. So, I couldn't find the third installment on Steam. Really, that's the only way I really can do mods, to be honest, because I am apparently too stupid to install mods without Steam's help. So... Here we go. Baxter's Memories Act 1, Black Mirror. Step into the shoes of Samuel Baxter, hired by one Eleanor Smith, who was on her knees begging Samuel to uncover her lost memories. He's in past and relive the horrors of Eldridge Hall. First of all, that name, Eldridge Hall. That. Few letters replaced, and you got Eldrick. So, I don't think anything good will come of go snooping around this, uh, this Eldritch Hall. So what am I, a therapist or something? Dear Mr. Baxter, I'm writing this letter asking for your help, as I know your reputation in the mystical realm goes before you. You see, I have suffered from persistent haunting dreams throughout my life, and I would like to have the answers to my questions at last, as I feel that my life is coming to an end. I always dream of walking through a courtyard that is adorned with a beautiful but terrifying child-faced fountain. 
dark spirits begin to haunt me as I enter a castle. The woman's voice, unrecognizable to me, but certain to have been heard before. She is screaming at me to get out of this place of terror. I'm not sure if you can find out which castle, but I'd be very grateful if you could find out the truth about my dreams, which have plagued me for 45 years. Please, Mr. Samuel, help a poor woman at the end of her days to discover the truth about her dreams and her past, for I'm sure this castle does exist, and I sense it has something to do with me. With gratitude, Eleanor Smith. I'm guessing we find the castle. Oh, we have control already. It's and like things. I can still see the mysterious woman in front of my eyes. In appearance, she was of poor circumstances. Oh, yo, but check in demeanor, that out. she gave the impression of noble birth. And those beautiful eyes. One green and the other blue. I remember the book about famous families in the United Kingdom. The Eldritch family had the same genetic defect. The castle they occupied is the only one that had the fountain from Eleanor's dream in the courtyard. Eldritch Hall. This castle was abandoned in 1735. The circumstances of the abandoned were highly mysterious. I have the note from the family book, but not the oil for the lantern. It's almost empty. Ooh. Wow, this looks, this looks fantastic. What do you mean almost empty? It's empty, you dipshit! <laughs> um... Oh, this says, uh... Kind of laggy. And I can tell you why it's- WHOA! Oh, please tell me there's not actual dogs in here. But yeah, the fly fire is why we get- we're getting some lag. Yeah, if I should get off of this... The books... In your box. Um, when did that fountain turn red? Or was it always red? noticed that before that skeleton on the chain and every time I turn around I swear there's gonna be something where did they come from hold on before I continue there is something I need to double check I gotta make sure we are able to get back to where we were Okay, good. We're good. Because some custom stories through Steam do not save like they should, and... Ugh. Ah! Fuck you! If you don't have lantern oil, then shut the fuck up. I... How the fuck did that come... Oh my god. You will not get me over this petty bullshit. I must say, the lighting is quite nice, though.
It has been done. My master, James Eldridge, gave me the task of locking and sealing the underground parts of the castle and dungeons. This includes the main gate to the entrance hall. So many deaths in the last few weeks had been in too much for my masters to bear, and so they decided to leave Eldridge Hall. Sadly, the survivors did not include four servants who hid in fear in a basement room, unable to hear the warnings of the mad mad man who would seal the corridors with explosives. These are my last words before my departure, for I have no desire to remain in this cursed place of horror. Yeah, that fire effects are really good. Shadows do need a little more flickering to get in for the sake of realism, but you know what? Fuck it, who cares? Oh goody, the doors aren't labeled. This could be make where I've been a little difficult. I had to find another way in as the main gate to Eldridge Hall was closed. I'm sure I'll be able to find the entrance to the main hall through this cellar. This must be the direction of my footsteps, for it is here that my investigation into the cause of the Eldridge family's abandonment can, of the castle can begin. Hopefully no one will try to scare me with cheap jump scares. Some interesting red stains. Surprising number of tinder boxes up behind. I would like to Oh, I can't go in here? There's something- there's a burrowing monster in this house, isn't there? Huh. I think I've gotten all that I need from here. Hello? Oh, there was a little bit of. Hello? The Does anyone live here? At all? Oh, hi, Stefano. What are you up to today? Just another prop in a creepy ass custom story. As usual. Okay, good. I, I am crazy then. I just when there's something behind that wine rack. I love the noises. Odd place for a wardrobe, but I will accept it if there is trouble afoot. Oh, laudanum. Why? Explosive. My job was to seal off parts of the dungeon with a crushing device that this was which was the invention of Count William Eldridge. My mission was to seal off key passages to the dungeon and main hall. According to the Duke, James Eldridge, it had to be done to protect the castle, but I know it's a lie because I am not blind, and I know that uh, something is going on, so I'm 100% sure that it's not to seal the castle, but to seal whatever is lurking in those halls and to prevent that creature for, or creatures from escaping. In any case, the chemicals will be kept in the back storeroom as a precaution.
by creatures. Are there any of them able to burrow, perchance? Stop shaking the chains! It. As I was going for that to that bottle of oil, these three saw blades came shooting into the wall. Oh my god! Like that's not as scary as some of the other stuff I've seen so far, or like in a sort of way. But that could have taken off my head, my arm, my hand. A cave-in has blocked the way to the main hall. I have to get rid of it. Well, what do you recommend? Nothing on this plaque. I don't know, that grating is a little too open for my liking. I feel like that barrel's gonna fall off at some point. What an elaborate cellar. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just the castle settling. Nothing in here. Nope, nothing in here. Chemical substance. <sighs> Much stuff around. Like the monster was it's such a slob. Like, come on, man. Clean your fucking house. That could have killed me. But don't worry, it's just the house settling. I mean, I guess it's the castle settling, but... Daddy, 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 dum. Oh, I can't wait till next June. My chemicals in the lantern have been stolen by someone or something. Although it's difficult in the dark, I must follow the blood trail. Wait, huh? What? I 
And I can just faintly see the blood. Uh, I'm sorry you guys can't see as well. Uh, you're gonna lead me back to that height, that hole in the. No, you didn't. What in the fuck? Where did this blood even come from? Okay. Sorry! My god! Don't even be so dramatic! My... So... What am I? It can be used to produce a powerful explosive. Who and what stole my lantern anyway? That brick is fuzzy. Fucking prick! Why'd you give me water? Why fucking water? Oh, why is it so deep? Oh my god, the frame rate is ter terrible. Monster. Okay, you're doing a little too much at This is not a Oh no, why? Thank you. I'm good. I'm great. I'm fantastic. I don't need to go oh, deal with that ever again. I uh, think I'll just leave and tell Eleanor that, dude. What? You had treats. It's. 
Do not tell me what to do. Um... Um... My poor master, the Ulrich Eldritch, is dead, and though although I have been able to fulfill his wish, I do not have the strength to escape from this place of horror. The two thralls are always at my heels, and it is in this godforsaken place that I have ended up. If anyone finds these last lines, know that I, Horst Jameson, the Ulrich Eldritch's faithful friend and servant, granted his last wish and brought closure. Farewell, Horst Jameson. Another rusty fucking key. I am not a fan. Why does the water have to be so fucking deep? Hold up! Son of a bitch! Fucking nasty. Guess the game wants me to be like on the verge of completing total freak out at all times. Monster talking us in here. Why? Oh, I knew it. Oh, I fucking knew it. Why is the monster here already? Here it's footsteps. Okay, stop screaming. I'm trying to listen. Okay, it looks like he's caught on something, so... will work in our favor. Oh, 
find a way. And that's our way out. As he stays there. this so much. Okay, he's still stuck in that corner. Which of course works for me because I don't want to deal with that. Do it up. Do it up. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Do it that day. you know exit the game right right now just because of the layout of this place I also don't want to break anything because then we don't want to make too much noise on top of it is anything that gets the monster unstuck bad right now. Indeed, in my test, the black book is very helpful. Oh, god fucking damn it. I feel very close to the last of the trium V-rate. I cannot say words. The horse, the second of the blah, would have been, would have ripped me to shreds. I must open it. I have no idea why, but I have to see what's beyond. The lovely daughter looks worried, but I assure her that I know what I'm doing. The thralls that I have discovered in a forgotten tomb in Egypt are truly dangerous and they must be contained by a, a means of a magical formula. There is no telling what might happen if they were to escape, to form a triumvirate, to bind souls and open the mirror, they'd be good. The Ulric Eldridge, Year of the Lord, 1259. Hmm. All right. We have a hammer. I don't know why we have a hammer, but we have a hammer. Good. He's still stuck. Hi, Cooper. What are you doing down here? Are you here to be a goofy little menace? Nice stepdad's dog. He doesn't see me through the bars. Whatever I have that works in my favor. He's 
unstuck! Oh wait, he's not unstuck. What the hell? Let's have a look at this guy. You, you dick face! Holy fucking shit! Shit, get away from me, you fucking creepy ass motherfucker! Uh, you might as well kill me. You have to carry on. No shit, Sherlock. Well, with any luck, the monster didn't respond with me, so... Fingers crossed. But, with that said, it's just gonna have to wait until a little later, so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. Make sure you sit. So. And share this video with someone who might enjoy the series. I'm Gamer Dragon, and I'll see you next time. Hi, Neely. You're a good girl. Bye.